I'm gonna share with you five things that you can do, dare I say it, to start filming videos that look more cinematic. And that word cinematic is used and thrown around on YouTube all too much, but I can tell you ways that will improve the look of your videos so that I feel like you're gonna be much more happy. So the first thing, if you're going out and you're filming something, is try to create some depth in your shot by looking for foreground, because that's naturally going to create some depth, but find some foreground because that will be your best friend. Tip number two, I used to always go around and shoot wide open, and some people are gonna be completely against this, I am going to say that you don't always have to shoot with your aperture wide open because the background tells an element of the story. You definitely don't want to always get in the habit of going around and shooting wide open because if everything's always blurred out in the background, you may be leaving out elements of the story that matter. Tip number three is go out and look at your environment and look for leading lines. Leading lines are going to direct the viewer to where they should be looking at within the frame. Another thing that's bonus points is if you find something that has like a cool design pattern, that's gonna make your shot look unique and more dynamic. Tip number four is make the light your stylistic choice. If you're shooting an outdoor shot where there would naturally be, at a certain time of the day, there would naturally be harsh light, then don't be afraid of embracing hard light because hard light could help enhance your story as well. Whenever you're doing that, if you feel like the light is too harsh to where you're losing detail or you can't get your exposure dialed in, you can get like a reflector or some diffusion and diffuse that harsh light just a little bit. Tip number five is going to save you from that, I don't know why this doesn't look right feeling. If you have a lamp going on in the background, you're going to want to make sure that your light color is the same as the lamp in the background because that is motivated light, it's a natural light source. If you're bringing in an external light source, you want it to match that color. So you can use something like a light meter to figure out the color temperature and then have yourself a bicolor light and that will make it so much easier for you to make sure that you're matching up the light and it makes sense in your scene. That's five ways that you can start filming more cinematic videos, but you're not gonna film cinematic videos for clients if you don't plan properly. So check out this video next because I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that there. I'll see you in the next video.